In this video, we're going to show you how to resize an image that's been sent to you using the free software called GIMP. So to get started, launch GIMP. And you want to arrange your windows so that you can, you know, have the toolbox sort of in proximity to here. All right, so that's the first thing. Do that first, get your windows arranged so you can see your toolbox and you can see your blank screen here. Okay, now that you've done that, let's go ahead and open a file. And actually, before we even do that, we need to make sure that we know where our files are located before we even start manipulating them in GIMP, which is the new image manipulation program. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and find my images. When we're finished, our image will go from something of this size, which is 778 pixels by 615, and way too large for a page, to something a little better, about this size, about 300 by 237. Okay, go ahead and open up your file. I'm going to open up mine here. Go ahead and do the same on your end. This file's too large. So what we want to do is export it as something smaller. To begin with, we're going to need to resize the image inside of this uh, area here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Image. And I'm going to choose Scale Image. And I'm going to do it by the numbers. I'm going to say, well, I think I want something about 300 and maybe, maybe 275 pixels wide. And with this lock turned on, it'll proportionally change the height once I click anywhere on the screen. OK, let me go ahead and scale it by clicking on the Scale button. I do not have to mess with the resolution. At 72 is a good one. It's about right for everything. So I'm going to scale it now. And I'll leave interpolation the way it is as well. All right, now we have our smaller image. Now we need to save that into a format that we can use on the web. So I'm going to do File. And I'm going to say Export As. And make sure you've chosen a JPEG down here. And then I'll give it a name like Much Better. And I'll save it by exporting it. Sorry, well, I'll export it. That doesn't save it. What quality do you want for the exported image? Hmm, I'm always going to pop it down to somewhere around 85, just to be safe. Now I'll export it. All right, that's done. Yeah, here's my original file, as we see by the name of the file. And then here's much better. And that's it. Now you can take any image, and you can resize it using GIMP. 